Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Have you ever deleted an old question from a survey and after publishing you realize that a large portion of your previously collected data was missing? If you haven't, that's great, but if you have, I hope you contacted Qualtrics support and you got that issue fixed right away. The reason I bring this up is because editing an active survey can be tricky if you aren't aware of which changes are safe to make. Today we will be looking at edits that are not safe to make to an active survey because they will delete or alter previously gathered survey data. We will also walk through how to get rid of old questions without affecting your data. We must first understand that changes will only be presented to respondents after you've clicked the publish button. This means that if a respondent clicks on your link before you've published your changes, they will see an older version of your survey. To have them take the most up-to-date version, you will want them to start the survey over, either by sending them a new email with a new link or by having them clear their cache and click on your anonymous link again. Now that we understand how publishing works, Let's head over to the testing and editing active survey support page and look at what kind of changes should not be made. As we can see here, some changes that should not be made to an active survey include changing the question type, modifying the response or validation requirements, rearranging answer choices, deleting questions or answer choices, and adding or removing loop and merge. If you find yourself in a situation where you feel the need to do any of these things, a better solution would be to hide the question and add a new one that meets your needs. Let's take a look at what to do if you've made an unsafe edit and go over the different ways to hide a question. If I accidentally deleted a question and published a survey, the best thing to do is to go to the tools menu in the survey builder, view the version history, and restore the second most recently published version of the survey. To hide a question with display logic, the first thing we must do is go to the question, select the question, go to question behavior, and click display logic. Now, we want to set a condition that will never be met, so the question is never displayed. In this case, I will use an embedded data condition on a variable labeled hide, set the value to 10, and click save. We know that this condition will never be met because the variable has not been declared in the survey flow. Another way to hide this question is by selecting the block that it's in, going to block behavior, selecting advanced randomization, moving this question to excluded items, and clicking save. If you want to learn more about the specifics of editing a live survey, I suggest looking at the support page linked below. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to edit a live survey with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the 2 Minute Tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.